friends welcome to my workplace at Rana Ghat West Bengal India in this video I want to show submarine job in two cases this is the first case capsulorexis has been done and now hydrodissection is to be done in submarine job the hydrodissection should be very good the nucleus should rotate nicely and submarine job is actually for hard cataracts in the nuclear sclerosis is grade 3 plus onwards in this case the nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4 and now after injecting viscoelastic substance the phaco needle is being introduced into the anterior chamber with its bevel towards the nuclear mass after aspirating some cortical matter the handpiece is turned and the bevel is now towards the corneal endothelium. Now the nucleus is pushed a little down, the tip is buried. Now the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus with full ultrasonic energy. In this case, it is 75%. The power is in continuous mode. And as it crosses the central part, it is chopped. And now after rotating 180 degree, the two heminuclei are separated completely. And now each heminucleus is again chopped into two fragments. Always the tip should go through the substance of the nucleus so that you can have a very nice hold and you do a nice crack along the path of the phaco needle and now each nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed as I said phaco energy ultrasonic energy used in this case is 75 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. And now this is the other heminucleus. It has been divided into two fragments. This is one fragment of the other heminucleus. I always tilt each fragment and start emulsifying from the apex of the triangular nuclear fragments. And this is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time, I remove the chopper to make the antechamber more stable and very slowly uh, emulsify the nuclear pieces. That's it. The case is done. After implanting I will, the case looks like this. And now let us see another case. This is an intumescent cataract. At this time, the mini rexis is being enlarged into an optimum sized rexis. This is a case with mid dilated people, and we can see the nucleus is quite hard. There's a brownish tinge showing through at this moment. So, nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4 like the previous case and now the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced bevel down some superficial cortical matter is removed the bevel is turned off and now the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip is into the substance of the nucleus the tip travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator as it goes, it cracks the nucleus and it is very easy to divide the nucleus into two halves by any chopper. And the chopper I used is just a modified Sinsky hook. It is called Mohanta chopper. It is made by Plast Surgical and Joseph Surgical. And this is division of on heminucleus and now the 
the other hemineucleus is held firmly the tip goes through the mass as if it pierces the heart of the nucleus and the nucleus is broken into pieces I believe submarine job can be done with any machine you just have to go through the nucleus crack the nucleus by the ultrasonic energy and the role of the chopper is just to separate the already cracked nucleus I use continuous energy during this submarine chop as well as during emulsification you do whatever you find safe for your patients next day cornea should be clear there should not be any corneal edema that's it nucleus is managed and after cortical cleanup after implanting the eye will the case looks like this Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will inspire you to do submarine job.